Hello everybody, it's Infinity Break coming at you today with a little bit of a different video. Today we're going to be playing through not a Skyrim mod, but a special little Oblivion mod. As right, we're going to be playing through an amazing mod from the TES Revi Revival or Renewal Project. I'm not entirely sure. It is a mod called Morrow Oblivion. It is an amazing, amazing little mod that basically takes the Oblivion story, or the Oblivion engine, sorry, not the Oblivion story, takes the Morrowind story. The Morrowind setting of Ardenfell and everything, and it shoves it into the Oblivion engine for you to enjoy. I hope I don't sound terrible this time. I was going through my Thieves Guild playthrough, and I was so embarrassed because I sounded like absolute dog crap. <laughs> so hopefully this time I sound like an actual professional this time. So let's get into it. Uh, I don't want to load anything. You can kind of see some of that. That's some of the what we have in store. I'm going to do a new game. I'm going to play from the beginning. So it takes the original intro, which I like, and it kind of shoves it in the beginning here, which is awesome. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. So I, I just love this. Because that was awesome. So right now, it's you know it's pretty stereotypical selection screen. You can't see Jube over here yet, but you will. So I'm gonna go for an. I'm gonna go for a dark elf. Actually, you know, I should go for. I should. I should make Grug because Grug was my first ever Morrowind character. Everybody, so let's make Grug. It's gonna be a pretty normal. Make him a little greener. I like that. Let's uh. Make him really young. I feel like that would be a very appropriate. Ooh, that's too feminine. I'm gonna say something like right there. A very young orc. Got. Um. I'm gonna go for. I'm gonna go for this one. I'm I'm gonna make my character and I'm gonna cut to when I'm done. Actually, so I'm gonna I'll, I'll make Grug and I'll see you at the very end of this customization. I think we uh, I think we have our character now. I'm gonna name him Grug. That is uh that is his name. And uh, he was the first ever character I really made in Morrowind that I actually tried to take seriously. But yes, I do want to be an orc. Stand up. There you go. You were dreaming. Not even last night's storm could wake you. I heard them say we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. Quiet. Here comes the guard. I really like how... Well, it's kind of disturbing how Jube looks in this version, because I'm so used to rugged... This is where you get off. Come with me. I'm so used to rugged Jube. I'm just seeing him in this state. is kind of disturbing. There you are. Already up a step up from... Uh, step up from uh, Morrowind as I don't move at the speed of a freaking snail which is awesome uh, that's one of the reasons I actually like playing Mar Oblivion is because uh, some of the two major complaints I have about uh, Morrowind is the combat and the movement speed and both of them are fixed in Oblivion so keep that in mind this is where they want you head down to the dock and I'll show you to the census office uh. what about you? You finally arrived, but our records don't show from where. Follow me up to the office and they'll finish your release. Gotcha. Get in there, boy. We got no time to waste. I found Satanee. Which is the town we're in. Hello. Ah, uh, yes. We've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. Okay. So we're going to make a class of our own. Um... We're going to increase in combat. Let's do magic. I know it's weird to be an orc 
and to pick magic, but you know, there's a there's a thing in Oblivion. You have some versatility. Uh, I'm gonna do strength. And I'm gonna do intelligence. Yeah. Acrobatics, alteration because I want to levitate, which is one of the best parts about this whole thing. Um, athletics, blunt. Conjuration, heavy armor. Uh, restoration is obviously going to be a skill we're going to need. Uh, you know, actually, I'm going to go with, uh... I think I'm going to use restoration more than conjuration. But I'm going to do speechcraft because I like to convince people a lot. I'm going to be the... Grug class. Create Grug class, yeah. I will, I will do it. I'm done. Are you sure you want to be a Grug? Yeah, I mean, I've thought about this pretty hard. It's it's a hard decision, but yeah. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? Well, you see, I, normally you want to pick, like, something that fits you, but, but it's just not, a, it's not a good idea to pass up the mage one if you want to be anything with magic. 50 extra points. You need those 50 extra points of Magicka. I'm gonna do that. Interesting. Show your papers to the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Nice, sweet. Continue through to the next building and talk to Celis Gravius. Awesome. Now, the only thing I don't like about this version of Morrowind is that they put a guard right here. And, uh, yeah. I don't like that. Goodbye. I'm supposed to be able to steal all these things, but I can't. I'll take that candlestick, though. Take that. I'll take this knife. I'll take that bread. Can't eat that bread. Can't take that bread. It's not my bread to take. Flynn is worth a hundred. My goodness! I'm also taking that bowl. That's right. I'm allowed to take those. I'm gonna take these breads too. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need food because I have a survival mod installed, which allows me to. Well, not allows me, but it makes me have to eat. So yeah, gotta do that. What's up, uh, Celis Gravius? Your papers, please. Here you go. I'll be taking them to Captain Gravius, and this is more. Oh, I'm Captain Gravius, and this is Marlin. My background is not important. I do have duties for you, however. Okay, I'm a good man. What are these duties you speak of? This package came from news of your arrival. Came with news of your arrival. You are to talk to Cassius Cosades in the town of Balmora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Cassius Cosades. They'll know where to find him, serve him, and you will serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a distribution, a dis dispersal to your name. What? I don't know what a disperser is, but okay. What about a who's Cassidus Cordadestes? Report to da in Balmora. I can tell you. I can't tell you where to find him, but you are to go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for him. Someone there can direct you to him. All right, fair enough. Um. So yeah. Uh, the only thing I don't like about Marwin sometimes is that. Oh yeah, this Very this well. nonsense too. Taking these. I'm taking what I can because I gotta sell it anyway. Um, the only thing I don't like about Marwind is that there's so much reading besides the combat and that. But it's mostly only an issue in this version. It's it's fine when I get to play it, like by myself. It's super foggy out, guys. Dude, that's not that's not an issue with the capture. That's just that foggy outside. My face is amazing. I actually think, think I did a pretty good job with the face. What do you guys think? I think I did pretty good. Um, but yeah, no, it's it's just really foggy out today. Um, I'm gonna have to read a lot. I don't want to read a lot because I'm very bad at reading, but I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it if I have to. <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> um, that's a little reference if you can figure that one out. Let's hear it. So we gotta find this this wood elf, this Bosmer fellow, and we have a ring for him. I wonder if he's in the. I don't think he's there. Eh, regardless. 
Oh god, hello there. Let's find this boss, my fellow, and give him his engraved ring hello. back. Well, I'm happy to give you a little advice. Uh, I guess not. Bye. Where Good is morning. Where is this fine fellow at? This fine little Bosmer guy that loses his ring every single time I, I meet him. I can't find the ring. Where is it? Or not? I found the ring. Where's the person? Um, that's the person. It's really awesome to give him the ring early on because you get a discount at that store. And I want to be able to give this fine gentleman his ring because I know he gives me a fine discount. So why why shouldn't I? What time is it actually? Wait till noon. Hmm, that's very bizarre. I have no idea where this guy is, but look at that stealth strider. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery right there. Gets you all across the Morrowind. Or Vardenfell, I should say. What is it? Who are you? He's a friend, Outlander. Perhaps I could be your friend. I'd like to help me recover some gold. Oh, really? A job? Okay. That's right. See, I had a bad run of luck playing nine holes and lost a bit of money. Normally, I'd be fine. Oh, I don't like where this is going, guys. We can usually keep some gold in our pockets just from the money th the locals pay us for protection, but I know some of them are holding out on me, especially that little- oh, okay. I know he's stashing it somewhere if you'd like to find Falcar's hiding place. Fargoth's hiding place? Uh, Fargoth's hiding place? I'm afraid to ask you about Fargoth's. The little Fetcher got, got one somewhere in town, just not sure where yet. Uh, I've already gone through the whole house, so I don't know he's hiding something or whatever. If you can, if you can, I'll give you a share of the wealth. Are you up for it? Um, I feel like this kind of like legal man. Um, I'll think about it, but no thanks right now. Well, I'll find someone else to do it then. Okay, fair enough. If you can get someone to do it, be seeing you. Fair enough. I think Fargoth is the person that uh, I'm looking for, actually. I have no idea where Fargoth is, though. I'm kind of upset. I don't want to be wasting all of my gameplay looking for Fargoth. But, uh, where is he? Got an itch on my head. Where is Rathgalt the Bargargart? Bargargargart. Hmm. Yeah, that's bizarre. I don't know where he is at. Well, regardless, we have to continue on with the game, regardless of whether or not we get exactly what we want. Maybe he's up here. Or maybe he's up here. You fire off? No, that's a loney. Didn't even know there was a, a tavern up here. You learn something new every day. I'm gonna find him. I'm gonna find him, guys. I'll, even if I have to cut this out of the recording, I will find him. Hmm, where could you be hiding, Fargoth? You can't hide from me forever. I will find you with a special set of skills that my orc brethren have taught me. Aaron. Fargoth's house. Fargoth is apparently not home. Well met. Hello. Um, I don't know where he's at, everybody, and that's disturbing me. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's just go buy stuff. Kind of sucks. Welcome to Ariel's Trade House. I bought it for gold. Goods a coin. Okay. That's free. That's all that's free. Would you like to hear of our most popular potions or our most popular scrolls? No, I'm good. I would like to... I'd like to Looking trade. Looking to lighten your load? A little... Fill up your coin purse? A little bit of both. Um, I don't have a lot. I do have some of these... Candlesticks. That's more... And a bowl. That's a fed. And another bowl. An excellent bargain. Now, I don't need much, my good man. 
but you have absolutely nothing that I can use for weaponry. I'm not like what the heck. Have a look around. You won't find better prices in all Tamriel. Normally he has like a bunch of freaking weapons, but he has no weapons. Who can't deal fill with ale? I have a I'm gonna need some food. You know what? Good day. I appreciate you, but you have nothing of value. It's extremely weird. So I guess I'm going to be going off and fighting my first cave with a knife. What is it, Sarah? Uh, nothing much. I have a dagger, and that's it. I have nothing else. I might as well equip this ring. I might as well equip this ring, because I'm going to regret getting into a fight right away without this ring on. For those of you who don't know, there is a group of scuba dealers in this very, uh, you know, in this very town. We'll need these later for some other things, but for now, let's go fight us some, uh, some no-good bandits. We are already on the we are already on the fight. An exciting fight, everybody. Crowd's going wild. Let's get this over with. Going around her, stabbing her in the back. Let's get this over with. Oh, you missed. You can get behind me. Alright, I gotta finally get some real clothes. And some food. Hell yeah. I'm a slightly thirsty boy. Well, I'm gonna put on some real clothes. Hmm, look at those. Look at those. Look at that. Look at that. What's <laughs> that? That's funny. Some boots. Well, this is what I look like now, everybody. Hope this is uh, good enough. Sneaky snake. Little sneaky sneaky snake. Hopefully find a weapon that they stash somewhere around here. That's where they keep the slaves. I'll have to come back for them later. Maybe I can find a hammer somewhere. Let's see. Good to see you. Ooh. Yes? What's happened? You seen me? Where, huh? are you? where did you go? Come out when I can see you. Shit. Damn it, they know. They know. Run. Oh, they know. Run. 